Okay, today we're going to talk about dotted quarter notes. So last time we talked about dotted half notes, and we talked about how a dot adds half of whatever it's added to to it. So we count eight notes. One, te, two, te, three, te, four, te. We know that a quarter note gets one full beat, so this one you count it one. So if I was going to put the text in, I would count it one, un. okay? That is one foot tap down and one foot tap up. Now if I added one more down to it, that would be half of whatever it was added to. So over here, we're gonna go ahead and put our foot taps in. So we have a down and an up for the quarter note and then a down for the dot. Now the other up is actually on this note here. And then to finish out the measure, we count those. So if we went back over here to count it now, we would count it one, uh, un, and then the upbeat, the next note will be a te, and then this would be three e, and four, four, okay? So we have, instead of just one, like a quarter note, right? With the dot, we have, add one more impulse. And then because we ended on the down, we know that this is a te. So now what happens, like in this measure, we have a rest on one, and we have a rest on two, okay? So that actually puts this one on beat three, okay? So we're gonna start this on beat three, and we're gonna have an extra impulse because we have that dot. And then the next one is te. Okay, so remember our foot goes down, up, down here, and then up for the te. Okay, now to come down here, so we have one, and we have a rest on this note. So that's a down, because we had a full beat here, and this would be an up, okay? Same thing here, down, up, down, up, okay? So we know that this should be number two, but it's a rest. So we're not gonna say beat two, okay? But then this one is the te because it's on the upbeat. Now, instead of thinking to, I like to change it and say, mm, instead of two, because it kind of helps me with all the rhythms. Okay. So this is three and four. All right, now let's go back to the top and count some of this. So this measure is one te, two te, three te, four. Okay. This measure is one, te, three, four. Okay, this measure is one, two, three, te. Okay, this measure is one, mm, te, three, four. Think again. One, mm, te, three, four, okay? This one is one. Now that is your mm again, because we're gonna say mm instead of two. Te, mm, te, four, te. And this is what my foot language looks like. So I have down, up, I have down right here, up right here, down right there, up right here. Now I would only say mm in the place of a number. I would not say it if it was in place of a te. And I'll talk about that later down here. Okay, so this measure is down, up, down, up. This is a down, this is an up. And then this is a down, up, down, up. So if I go back and I put my counting in there, it would be wa, uh, uh, un, 
this is two full beats here and this rest is on a downbeat. So instead of saying three, we're gonna say mm, te, fo, fo. Okay, so let's count this whole line. One, mm, te, three, four. One, mm, te, mm, te, four, te. One, mm, te, four. And then down here, these look really funny, but this is actually the downbeat. Okay, so down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And what do we say on a down? We say a number. So this is just one, two, three, Four. And we are not going to say mm here because mm only replaces a number. So since we already have the one here, we're just going to rest. So one, two, three, four. Now in this measure, the rest is first. So my foot goes down first and then it comes up. Down, up, down, up, down, up. So if I go back, remember if the rest is a number. That's where we're going to add our mm. So I'm going to say mm, te, mm, te, mm, te, mm, te. So this measure is just one, two, three, four, mm, te, mm, te, mm, te, mm, te. And that's all we have for you today.